Alright guys, so I just want to create another video here for you today. We rolled out the recipes yesterday and uh, this is something brand new that we just brought to Kraken that allows you to set up custom campaigns that you can use over and over and over again. And I'm calling these recipes. So you can basically set up a very generic recipe for a client, for a niche, for a particular search that you're wanting to do. And instead of resetting up a brand new campaign, taking all that time to classify things and you know set it up, you can set up these campaigns, save them, and then just come in later and grab them and uh, easily make a couple of changes and then submit it. So basically we're taking care of all the work that you need to do and making this a lot simpler for you. So let's go ahead and go in here and show you how to set up a recipe and then how to use it. So what you first want to do is you want to go to uh, create campaigns and you'll have a new little button here called create campaign recipe. Let's go ahead and refresh that real quick. Okay, there we go. So create campaigns, create, create campaign recipe and we're going to name this, uh, let's say Google bounce search or in this one we're going to say website bounce search okay so we'll choose both desktop and mobile for the traffic category I'm just going to put in bounce because I'm setting this up as a demo uh, you can put in your number of visits that you want to do or leave it blank or change it I like to leave it blank whenever I'm setting up a uh, recipe actually I would recommend setting it up blank because then you can edit it each time and put in the necessary amount of days and uh, yeah it'll just cut down on mistakes so we'll say website bounce search uh, category bounce you have to put a category in here so make sure that you choose whatever you'd like so I'll just put bounce okay the first thing that we would want to do is we want to set up a campaign so to do this we're going to go to um, Google and I will do Google bounce search okay so you put in your category or you want to name your custom campaign here uh, we're just going to do bounce search keyword now for the recipe I'm gonna leave all of this blank and we're just going to design it today actually sorry on this it's going to make me put in a generic website so I'm just going to do google.com now this is just setting up a recipe so we put that in here as bounce search okay we'll go back and we'll do browser First things first, I want to do a change location. So we're going to do a location change. Okay, we're going to name it that, custom name, location change. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so we have bounce search, location change. We want to put up location change first. Then we do a bounce search. Now, it knows that when you do the bounce search, it's going to go into say for example here number of bounces let's say you want to do three bounces let's say that you're ranked on page one of Google uh, number 10 okay so let's say it's number 10 page one of Google you have three bounces in there it's going to know okay to look for the top three bounces on that page go in bounce out of them go in bounce out of them website link is your link so you want to make sure that you put your website link in here not just Google so your website www.ctrrocks.com whatever your website URL is okay number of bounces number of pages now this would be let's say you're on page three of Google you would say that you want it to search for the first three pages of Google and it's going to find you and it's going to bounce out three times put in your keywords uh, up to 25 keywords here your website number of bounces number of pages of search and we're just going to do um, we're going to take that out real quick and let's go ahead and close it out so we're not going to make any changes okay so we do a location change we do a bounce search uh, once it goes to your website then we're going to tell it I'm going to just click on wait here uh, we want it to read on the website okay so we're going to do read on website we're going to move that above so read on website goes above wait and you're going to tell it to read on that website for X amount of time, however long you want to set it up as. But here on the generic, we're just going to do it for one minute. Okay, read on website, wait. Now, if you want it to surf around on that website, you need to tell it 
Okay, I want it to find and follow a link. Okay. So that's to look for the next page, like services page maybe. And let's say it does a services page and we want it to read on that services page. And then we want it to uh, wait for a specific time. So we'll say wait a specific time on that services page. Okay. Uh, we'd also like it the screenshot. Let's say the services page. And next that we want to do is we want to go back to on a website find and follow link say to the contact us page okay we want it to read on the contact us page there and of course we want it to wait for a specific amount of time okay so let's say that we've got this campaign set up here for bounce search we have location change we have bounce search we have read on website we're telling it to wait a specific time it's going to find and follow a link to the services page it's going to spend time on there reading that page it's going to spend that specific time that we set it up. It's going to take a screenshot. Then it's going to click and find and follow to the contact us page. It's going to read on that website on that page. And then it's going to wait for a specific amount of time. And then it's going to leave. Okay. So we're doing a bounce search here. We have a recipe. We're going to click submit. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to go back over to campaign receipt uh, recipes here campaign recipes website bounce it's set as private and now if you want to set up a new campaign off of this recipe that you've already set up then it's very simple you can edit it here you can clone it which we're working on the clone option here uh, what this does instead of cloning the recipe it actually starts up that recipe as a new campaign at the moment and if you want to make this uh, public and share it with everybody else in the network, you can totally do that by just clicking this button. Okay, it's shared successfully. So now it's on shared recipes where I'm creating recipes for everybody else to be able to use. But let's say that you've got that campaign recipe right here, bounce uh, search, and you just want to set up a new campaign for another client. You just click the little play button here, opens it up, and then you make your changes here. So we'll say, Google search test. Okay, we'll do a uh, search test. Okay, we're doing both. Let's say we're doing seven day drip. We're going to do uh, 25 searches here. Now we're going to come in and make our change. So we're going to change our location to that right there. Hit update. Whoops, hit add, update. Okay, close it out. It's doing a bounce search. We're going to tell it look for uh, Google. Okay, we're going to do a keyword. It's going to go to google.com. Number of bounces one. Number of pages one. We're going to click update. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to tell it to wait on that page for three minutes. Okay, so we've got three minutes. It's going to read on that website. Wait for three minutes. Click and follow a link. And this was where you'd make your changes. Now, I'm just going to leave them blank just to show you here. So now we've got this set up. Google search test. Seven day drop, 25 searches. I'm going to come in, say submit. Okay, campaign. So now you can see if we just click here, refresh. I just want to make sure it's all here. Google search test, category search test. It's running. Number of views provided, zero so far. You can see I set it up, 734. And if we go back over to campaign recipes, you can see we still have the generic setup of website bounce search. And if we go into edit here, you'll notice that none of this has been changed. It's still everything that I set it up with before. So this can really simplify the way that you set up campaigns within the Kraken. No longer do you have to individually set up these campaigns again and again and again and again and again. It's very time consuming. Now you can just set up a very generic campaign recipe, grab it, and whammo. <laughs> Create it, submit it, and you're good to go. All right, so just want to make this quick video uh, here to show you this, changes on recipes, and uh, I'll have some new updates coming out on the recipes of how to set up campaigns with multiple recipes. So what's coming next is to where you could come in here and say, create campaign and let's say that you set up a campaign here
there will be a new option about right here that will be called recipes. Uh, either here or here or somewhere in here. And you would click recipes and then you could grab custom recipes that you've already set up that you've already saved with your information. So you could create a recipe, save it with all of your information, not the generic, not just the generic form, but you could grab it with all your information, grab that recipe and say, select 10 recipes that you've set up already. And you could drop them right in here, right? And then hit create campaign. And then what you're doing is you're creating a real randomized search algorithm for the particular searches that you're doing. So you could basically set up 10 up to 10 micro campaigns within one campaign. So you could have traffic coming in from a Tumblr, from a Weebly, from a GMB, from anywhere that you wanted to. And this would allow you to set up really random campaigns for particular clients. Instead of setting up 10 campaigns individually per client, you could have 10 campaigns for one client in one campaign, if that makes any sense. My programmers are about to kill me because they're like, mate, that's 10 different uh, campaigns. I'm like, no, that's one master campaign and then 10 mini campaigns. And uh, it's been really funny. We've been going back and forth on this and they're like, oh, okay, okay, we got it. We're going to do this. And then I'll be like, hey, can you add this? And they're like, Arr! they want to kill me. So... I totally get it. Uh, the programmers probably hate me with everything that I come up with in here. But I just want to make this video. Hopefully this helps explain what recipes are and why they're super important and why I think that y'all are really going to get a lot of great information from them and be able to uh, change the way that you do searching for your CTR clients. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.